Thank you for tuning in. We're going to have some interesting discussions today about Hololive. Maybe every segment will be about Hololive, actually. And let's start with this really quick. Where we left off before, we had three options for Hololive CN. And those three options were, one, become individual streamers, two, transfer to another company, and three, graduate and move on. Now, let's clarify this stuff. And let me also apologize. Uh, the video I posted yesterday, my first segment of the day, talking about graduation and departing from the company. Uh, in, in the beginning of that video, I said depart. I meant to say graduate. It is my fault at the end of the day. But to be fair to me and, and everyone in the community, because I do see people in my comment section even asking this to this day, what does graduate mean? To be fair to me and all of us, it's kind of just a weird term that Hololive uses, and it's not generally a term that companies use. So I said depart. I meant to say graduate, and that kind of threw off my theory because the main point of my theory was that instead of Hololive graduating Hololive CN, which the term graduate in this context means basically Hololive is, is saying that for whatever reason, we can no longer have this branch. You know, we're going to graduate them. That's their nice way of basically saying that we're forcing them to resign, essentially. Um, so that's not what's going on here. That's a big difference. Instead of them graduating, it was more Hololive CN saying, you know, we're, we're not really happy with the state of things and we want to leave in some manner. So they're in mediations. And here's the update. Uh, we talked about the avatars, if they could keep their avatars, their models. And I mentioned from a legal standpoint that they, from a legal standpoint, they really wouldn't be able to uh, because uh, it's not their IP, it's Hololive's IP. The caveat, of course, is since it's Hololive's IP, they could let the streamers keep them. And it seems like that's what they're doing. So that's good. They didn't have to do that. I don't believe, I strongly believe that, you know, they were able to choose. And actually, if you look at the phrasing of what people talking about this, it seems like that's the correct assessment that I made because the phrasing is is, is basically... Hololive let the girls keep the avatars. Keyword, let them. So I think you get the implication. So that's good news. At the same time, I don't think it says that much about Hololive because what would they do with those avatars if they kept them? Pretty much nothing. All it would do is upset Hololive CN and upset the fans because, well, that would kind of be a, a jerk thing to do, right? Like, even if they legally can keep the avatars, like I said, what are they going to do with them? It's just a jerk thing to do. So that's a big uh, relief for Hololive CN. So congratulations to Hololive CN that they can keep their avatars. Now let's talk about the options. Individual streamers. Uh, so big problem starting out as an individual streamer without Hololive's help. Well, you know how that is. You see people streaming for years, getting nowhere. It's just how it is. It's a it's tough, tough line of work. So the benefits signing up for Hololive, of course, you know, there's negatives, uh, revenue share, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but the benefits, of course, are the prestige, the brand name. You pretty much instantly have a career starting out, a, a top tier career in streaming. So that's the benefit. Now, becoming an individual streamer after you're a Hololive streamer is certainly different than just becoming an individual streamer from the get-go. So maybe that would work out for them. They would still get to keep the avatar, hopefully, you know, still retain the fans that they have made. And hopefully that would work out for the girls in Hololive CN. So that seems like a potential uh, avenue for them to go. The other option, transfer to another company. My first question is who? Uh, you know, we have Nishi Sanji and Hololive. Uh, and that's really it. There are some more indie, uh, indie uh, idol agencies, so to speak. But I don't want to call any of them out specifically. Uh, but here's the main point about this. Small indie agencies, what do they bring to the table? You're going to share your revenue with them. Maybe even if it's less than the Hololive cut, regardless, you're still sharing it. And they don't have the prestige of Hololive, so it seems a bit pointless to me. I, I think I'd personally rather just be an individual streamer and not sign to an idol agency that doesn't really bring the benefits of an idol agency like Hololive or Nijisaji. My opinion. Sorry for the awkward cut, adding this in post-production. It's the same thing I brought up yesterday, though. Of course, the other options regarding a new company is if Hololive tries to rebrand CN as a new company or they create a new subsidiary, this sort of thing. Now back to the video where we left off. Uh, so that leaves graduate and move on. Now, obviously, it looks like that's not the case. Graduate and move on, again, to clarify, with pretty much them being done as streaming. Like, okay, we're not going to do this anymore. We're not even going to stream as independent streamers. We're just done. Uh, the caveat is maybe they would rebrand and try to stream without actually, you know, anyone noticing that it is them or was them. But it seems like uh, most likely this will be become individual streamers. If I had to, to guess, you know, maybe Hololive CN, they all support each other and they kind of become a loose group, so to speak, but not an official company, not, uh, not anything uh, official or anything like that. So th that's where we're at right now. And uh, that's the current situation. So let me just let me say this much. My last video I made, I was, uh, you know, a little harder on Hololive than I was previously. And I'm going to actually restate this point in my next segment earlier on in the segment when, you know, everyone is still here for the most part. Uh, but I, I think a lot of these people that are giving us a hard time about criticizing Hololive are new people because, I mean, they don't seem to understand how much stuff Hololive has had going on. Uh, like six, seven months ago, the entire male situation. I highly believe that our community is in large part why that situation resolved so well for Mel and why Hololive handled it so well. To be quite honest... When I covered that, there was not really anyone talking about this Hololive stuff 
uh, in the English community. There was no one else talking about news and things like that. It was pretty much just this channel for the most part. And we talked about the Mel situation in great detail. And surely enough, ended up resolving very well for her. Mel's great. I'm very glad that everything's good for her now. But that's just one example. The point is, we've been covering this Hololive news for like six, seven, eight months or so. And it seems like a lot of these uh, new fans who I question are actually fans because they don't seem to genuinely care about this stuff are really quick to just blindly defend Hololive and don't seem to actually know any of the backstory. Interesting. Anyways, that's all I have to say on this one. I'll catch you guys soon for the second segment of the day. Take care.